there are some couples looking to be reunited in Denmark, asking to show some love letters. Denmark has eased its coronavirus restrictions and is now allowing in visitors seeking to be reunited with their better halves. So long as they can prove their romance is real, people who are married or engaged to somebody in Denmark or those who have been tied romantically for the last six months must present evidence of their relationship when they attempt to cross the border to join their partner. They can bring along a photo or a real love letter. I realize these are very intimate things, but the decision to let in the partner ultimately rests on the judgment of the individual police officer, said Chief of Police Alan Dallager. The government later said in a written declaration it would be enough to be granted entry under the rules that went into effect Monday. If you say you're in a relationship and put it in writing, that should be enough. So the officers should not have to read your dirty love letters to each other. Meanwhile, the MTA is going to need some more disinfecting ultraviolet lamps. A couple took advantage of the practically empty transit system to get freaky on a subway platform. A new video shows the nearly one minute long clip filmed by a chuckling onlooker from across the tracks appears to show a man and woman in the throes of passion having sex on the platform on Flushing Avenue station in Brooklyn. We don't know when this was shot, but we know it's an empty train station recently. And they were just, they just pulled their pants down and started having sex right there. Now in a bid to stop the spread of coronavirus, the MTA has contracted more cleaners, rolled out virus killing ultraviolet lamps, and even taken the unheard of step of suspending the service. Now asked about the lewd public display of affection, AKA having sex on the platform. The MTA took pride in the cleanliness of its stations. We are they basically said, we are proud the subways are as clean as they've ever been. No need to try them out like these geniuses. Apparently they thought it was so clean that they could go and just drop their pants right there. An enterprising Swiss sex worker has devised some inventive ways for their colleagues to service clients spreading the coronavirus by doing the deed doggy style and reverse cowgirl. Now, this opportunistic courtesan drafted the guidelines in hopes that Switzerland will lift the temporary ban on prostitution. Aforementioned sexual positions allow for a safe distance between faces during hanky-panky. I don't buy that. If you're going to have sex with somebody, it doesn't matter which way you're facing, you're going to end up getting coronavirus. Make sure you're not having sex with anybody with coronavirus because you're going to get it. Whether you're facing this way, you're facing that way, you're facing this way, that way, it doesn't matter. You're going to get it. I don't care what they say. Meanwhile, coronavirus concerns have forced sex workers to paradoxically practice the world's oldest profession from afar. But one enterprising Nevada escort has devised an ingenious way to stay afloat and capitalize on lockdown loneliness by offering virtual girlfriend experience. She says, I can be there for you, says Alyssa Star 31, a self-proclaimed girl next door. After statewide non-essential business closures in March forced her to leave her, the Sherry's Ranch, a legal brothel near Las Vegas, she has been struggling. However, unlike the steamy webcam sessions, which have become the go for or go to for the unemployed sex worker, Alyssa's virtual girlfriend experience service skews more towards casual couple style interactions. It's kind of like when we're together, it would include like cuddling and sharing moments with each other, taking our time. The former courtesan describes her routine with one client. When we wake up with each other, we wake up, we say good morning and kind of describe our day with each other, maybe meet, share meals that we're having, encourage each other to stay positive, saying good night, maybe a phone call every once in a while. In essence, she's just basically a rented girlfriend over the telephone, I guess. Now in Thailand, there was a foot fetishist that was arrested after stealing and having sex. Like I'm reading this right, having sex with a hundred pair of flip-flops. The guy wanted to have sex with a hundred pairs of flip-flops. A Thai man with an unhealthy obsession, you would say that, with shoes has been arrested for stealing more than a hundred pairs of flip-flops he admitted having sex with. How do you have sex with a flip-flop? I guess that part that comes at the front. I don't know, but that sounds like it's got to hurt. I'm just thinking about that. That's got to hurt. It's rubber. Police in central Thailand first knew something was awry after receiving dozens of complaints from locals over missing shoes. Now, CCTV footage eventually revealed the culprit to be a local man, Fibat Clay, who was filmed lurking outside one of his victim's homes. Authorities apprehended the man on May 24th at his rented dwelling. 
The alleged footwear fetishist described how he would wear the sandals, which spanned every make and size. He says, and this was just for foreplay, uh, the man would reportedly then caress and kiss the well-worn flip-flop, strip down, rub them all over his naked body, and then eventually make love to them. This is actually in the police report. Once he was done ravaging these flip-flops, he tossed them aside like a cheap floozy and looked for a new pair. Oh, my God. A South Korean football club has apologized for filling the stands with sex dolls. South Korean football team FC Seoul has apologized after fans accused the club of using sex dolls to fill empty stands. Last Sunday, the club played at home against Gwangi in South Korea's top football championship, which was due to start on February 29th, but was postponed because of the coronavirus pandemic. Fans were barred from the grounds, but however, some of the figures that they put in the stands were actually sex dolls. Yes, the fans pointed out that they look like sex dolls. Why are they putting sex dolls into the stadium? And one of the fans said, honestly, if you saw the mannequins, you should have thought it right away if there was something strange. Now, others were incredulous that no one on this soccer club noticed that they put sex dolls throughout the entire stadium. The female mannequin dressed in a white short sleeve t-shirt, breasts excessively stood out, the nipples were protruding, but nobody realized these were sex dolls that they were putting in the stands. You've got to be kidding me. Now, FC Seoul explained that although the dolls were made to look like real people rather than conventional mannequins, it had checked that they were not at all related to adult products before agreeing to install them, and they had been told they would be mannequins, but apparently the company that installed them switched the mannequins for sex dolls. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.